Christo ande emayote emeshenda yange mi furizo ya baraka ina hamsha shangwe ku Let's pray, O oh, kind and trusty Father in heaven. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for this hour that you have created for us. Lord, we are going to see your word. I pray that if you know my voice and your voice to be heard. It is our humble prayer through the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, I want to welcome you at this hour so that we hear what does the word of God is speaking. And our topic is talking about where is your help? Kayo wakonya kwa ukuri. Saidisi upo wapi. Uenda ikawa wakati kama huu. Mimi sara sijui unapitia nene. Hadi unapika mahali. You feel like you don't have help from anywhere. Even you lose hope from God. Now this time I want to tell you that. Your hope you need to put in God. When we read from the book of uh, Psalms 121 verse 1, that is our key text. And the Bible say, I lift up my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help come from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Indeed, he who watches over his right will neither slumber nor sleep. The sun will not harm you by day nor the moon by night. My dear brothers and sisters, when you in your world turns dark and your journey turns rugged, where do you turn for help? What is your source for the confidence? You need to face the headwinds of life. When you look the book of Psalms 121, children of God encourages us, uh, us in such times. It reminds us where our help comes from and infuses us with confidence. My help comes from the Lord, the maker of earth, the maker of heaven and earth. My dear brethren, the true depths of this message by offering sound exercises, exercises and application of the psalm in our lives will help you, will help me to run out the message of the psalms can speak as powerfully today as when you are in a dilemma, when you are in challenges, when you are in, uh, when we are first written in other words, this book, uh, uh, this book will help you, will help me achieve what I have of the interpretive tasks. You will understand the passage's original meaning. And in this contemporary application in verse 3 to 8, the team of God as the guardian of God is the guardian of us. He is guarding us in any situation that we are. As the guardian of Israel, of the one who keeps watch over Israel in the fundamental crime, in the Psalms as suggested below in verse 1 verse 2, uh, the psalmist look for help and refers to God as my help. And the image of God in verse 1 to 2, however, shifts from help to that of God. I'll keep in the subsequent, my dear brethren, when you, do, you don't have help, when you are crying, where could you get help from? I want to give you hope in the book of Psalms 121 verse 1, where the Lord will be the psalmist's help. 
since the language in the first two verses is put in the first person, person this opening story appears as confession by the psalmist. Beginning in the first three, however, the language shifts to the second person, you, the crimes made in first three to eight, serves as a response to the confession made by the psalmist in the opening story. When you look at this first children of God of Psalms, uh, 121 brethren is classified as a psalm of confidence meant to celebrate God is uh, providence, care, and is the second psalms in the Songs of uh, Ascent uh, 421, which begins with Psalms 121. This theme is carried through the four uh, strophes and uses a poetic technique frequently employed in the songs of Ascent. We need to put our confidence in the Word of God. We need to put our confidence in God. When you read the book of Psalms 121, verse 1 to 2, it opens with the confidence as a session that God will be uh, his helper uh, and will be our helper. I lift up my eyes to the mountains. When you look at the word mountain, student of God, it was a uh, it, it, it has been interpreted negatively as the preacher, as the tragedious and the dangerous part of the price at which false gods were worshipped, or positively as Zion. When you look about the Zion, all the east surrounding Zion, they point to the first part of the Zion uh, as a possible answer to this. Siding on it is minding children of God, the action of lifting the eyes, embrace, looking of something. When you lift up your eyes like this, you are actually embrace looking something, lodging all with desire rather than looking of something with dread. This meaning is clearly evident in other Psalms understood in this way, mountain. Mountains are likely refers to the mountain uh, Zion, thereby creating an impact conversion of uh, Yahweh as the God present on Zion, the mountain of God. Of course, the reason the psalmist is looking to the mountains is because that is where uh, his help comes from, from help that comes from I don't know, my dear brothers and sisters, when you are undergoing any situation, when you are in a dilemma, when you don't have help, when your family is facing uh, anger or you don't have food, where is your help? I want to tell you that let your help come from the Lord. However, that it is a helper or my sustenance doesn't do. The term justice in this nominal form help occurs 20 times. When you look about the word help, it occurs 20 times in Old Testament. Within 13 of those occurrences referring to God's ability to save and deliver further when combined with the word for shield. The term together indicate Yahweh's divine protection over Israel. When the word shield is absent uh, from Psalms 121, this latter meaning, i.e. divine protection, appears in few in verse 1 and 2. Uh, be watchful, my dear brothers and sisters, we need to be watchful. The, uh, the watching care of Yahweh must not be limited to perceive observation that God watches over us as he watches over Israel by providing protection. That is the same case. is actually providing for us protection. This image to learn of God is heightened in verse 4 where it stands in a constructive relationship with the Israel. They believe the psalmist may have intended to labor Yahweh as the guardian of Israel. For as the guardian of Israel, God remains on watch to protect his people where you are and I also I am neither slumbering nor sleeping while the two words 
may appear synonyms. The fact every time noun refers to drowniness or right sleep, which uh, while the, the second term, yes, son, may be understood as sleep in the more traditional sense. Using both words, uh, I turn the indication that the current of Vaisal never knows of his doses much less fall into a deep sleep but the latter remain much uh, remain native attentive and they keeps continual watch over his people when our god is keeping watching for us even if we are unfaithful even if we are still dancing in sin but our god is still keep continue watching over us as his people that not even as food of as we sleep from the path. Our Lord is our shed and God watches over the psalmist for he is our guardian. Nor he employs two other metaphoric images to continue this illustration of God is what you care. The psalmist corrupts the notion of standing at the right and with that of the shed because when you look uh, such as I'm giving you an example when you look the soldier carried his seal in his left hand the right side of his body remain exposed and vulnerable uh, consequently one always sought to have a friend or a re at his light and to provide protection children of god our oh god is that friend i'm proclaiming to you right now he is that friend children of god standing at the right and fending off potential traits and image found elsewhere in this father uh, psalms 168 uh, and also psalm 16 verse 8 109 first at 1, 110 first 5, uh, that is an adding to this crime that the Lord stands over our life and by suggesting is a protective shed or a shadow again, an image not unique to the psalm. Uh, frequently, individuals are invited into the shadow of the wings of God. We are invited uh, to the, the shadow of the wings of God. In that space, the psalmist, the psalmist find relief from the forces that threaten him. And when we look about the things that threaten us as a shed, Jesus Christ and God is our shed. God will protect the psalmist. God will protect us from the searing heat of the sun by the day, the dangers of the moon by night, the latter image perhaps connects to the Papronian moon, God sin, and that is the sin which was thought to have caused uh, a number which was thought to have a cost in number of illness. It might be that my dear brothers and sisters, right now you are undergoing maybe illness in your life. However, when you look about this phase, however, the mention of the sun and the moon as a rhetorical force that super uh, superiors, it is literal meaning the two concepts sun and moon mentioned in presence by both the day and night indicates God is stands as the protective shade over our life and the lord will protect your family my dear brothers and sisters the lord will protect your life the lord will protect your worries he has promised i will protect your life when you read the book of psalms 121 7 to 8 god is attentive and a protective care is final strophy with the repetition to god to watch to keep fast Eight is where the Lord will watch over your coming uh, uh, and you going, going out and coming in functions elsewhere in the Old Testament as a metaphor for going to war. This is actually meaning to war. Maybe you are in this world, maybe you are proclaiming the word of God and you are facing challenges. That is the word that you are proclaiming. And when you look about this verse of psalmist, yes, the context of the psalms, particularly as a pilgrim psalm, seems to warrant against such a narrow interpretation elsewhere. The phrase functions uh, 
My researches are referring simply to the general activities of life. The psalmist assures those who pray the psalms that we do not walk alone. The maker of heaven and earth journeys with us as our helper. Our intention to remind us from scripture alternates uh, between air rising when you look about the air maybe wakati unaangalia nywele yako ikianza kumea hizi mea to uh, just one it actually takes time that is the same case when you are facing challenges uh, when you are taking risk and assurance and they bring nepopo security and when we look at the life of great followers of god we see this combination of breath uh, uh, challenging or tarenting risks with an almost present confidence of being safe in God's hand. When you relate this first, there is some moments in biblical history when people churned with God at great risk. When you talk about Moses, the defiled Pharaoh, and there is Israel occupied the promised land. When you look about the David challenged Goliath and the poor band of disciples followed Jesus, Paul sat in a Roman prison. Children of God, none of those actions make sense unless the actors all understood from whence came there unless they understood that they were in the watch care of great big God. The same was true for us. Our own circumstances may be challenging, our families may be challenging, our uh, business may be not working, may be challenging and risk, yet we are not forced to confront them alone. We know this in part through Psalms 121, children of God, how God watches over us at all times. He doesn't grow tired or worry as we do. He's not busy doing something else into our lives. In this world, nobody will help you. You might be seen that you have friends and you need help or you have much numbers in your phone and those numbers when you, even you have a problem when you call them they actually ignore you they told you we don't have anything to help you but my dear brothers and sisters i want to tell you that this moment when you don't have help when you have lost hope when you don't even have anyone to to go and breathe to him i want to give you our god our god is the only hope when you have Rose up, I want to tell you that go back to the book of Psalms 121 verse 1. That is where your help will be. When you look about this and you focus on him, our faith on him, Atakama, sijui mimi unapitia shida gani, time tinga nkendo kio wetera sobu gima, a kiagrobu gima uvombori strike. We have to pass downs, ups and downs. My dear brothers and sisters, the only help is in our God. That is the word of God. Let us focus on the Lord. Even if we have challenges, even if we have ups and downs, even if we don't have help, when we have rose up that our God has forgotten us, our God is not busy, our God is actually on our side, is guiding us, is our help. Even if he has not answered your prayer, I want to tell you that our faith and be present because he has promised us when the right time came he will not no one will stop him to pro, uh, to fulfill his promise unto you it might be that you have racked a kid in your marriage you have been in marriage 20 years or 10 years without a kid but i want to tell you don't lose hope just go into your knees pray with god God has promised us that He has not failed. He has not uh, dared to pro uh, to proclaim or to fulfill His promise. That is why, when you read this book of Psalms, actually that is the only hope I will leave to you, my dear brothers and sisters. It might be that you you have wrapped uh, a job. You are umefanya nini? Umesoma? Ume ume itimadi chuo kiku? Lakini ujafaniki wa kupata kazi. But I want to tell you, don't lose hope. Don't go. Uh, kufanya nini? 
kulipa haki ama ku, kutoa ongo ndio maana ufanye nini upate you get that job it might be that umefanya hivyo hiyo kazi unaweza ipata kwa haraka sana na itaisha tu kwa haraka but it's a work the job that God has granted to us it actually has fruits and the not bad fruit is as good fruit when you dedicate all things to god when you seek your help from god everything will work well so my dear brothers and sisters the only thing that we need to do let us put everything let us surrender our family let us surrender our lives our everything to god so that we seek help from him let us not seek help from sorcerers let us not seek help from friends let us not seek help from our parents only from God and that is the only person I'm only living to you at this time Lord let's pray our kind and the first in father in heaven thank you Lord thank you because we have learned that there is no help elsewhere only unto you we need to come back to you we need to seek help from you it might be that Lord we have gone astray because we have uh, roost up and we have seen that you are you have not with us and we have go astray to sorcerers to seek help I want to ask for forgiveness Lord that you return us back and you show us that you are the only hope in our life I want to ask you Lord you press my listeners wherever they are you press my subscribers whatever they are when they are going to meet with this word let their uh, lives change let their lives stay change to you let they surrender everything to you let them seek help from you lord lord be with us as we are uh, preparing for the sabbath lord we pray that you be with us forever and more that is our humble prayer through the name of jesus christ amen